Get yourselves prepared because 2024 is pulling a fast one on us with not just one, but two price hikes. Just as we dusted off from the annual January price leap, here comes another surprise bump focusing on those shiny gold and two-tone models. So, what's with the double dip this year? Today we're unpacking Rolex's latest plot twist to see what it spells for your wallet and that ever-growing watch collection. All right, let's unravel why Rolex is shaking up its pricing mid-year, a move that's pretty unusual for them. What's going on? Well, we're looking at a mix of factors here. Production costs have been creeping up, demand is as strong as ever, and a few unexpected economic twists have got Rolex rethinking their prices. For those of us here in the US, these price jumps feel a bit more immediate. Everyone's buzzing with a mix of surprise and curiosity. Is this a new strategy for Rolex? or are they just keeping us on our toes? Digging into the specifics, consider the craftsmanship behind Rolex's features, like the Oyster Perpetual mechanisms known for their robustness and reliability, or the Cerachrom bezels that resist scratches and don't fade, even under the harshest sunlight. These aren't just technical details. They're reasons why the brand remains so desirable, pushing demand even in times of price hikes. Let's take a breather and reflect on Rolex's latest pricing maneuver. It's clear they're aiming to keep their watches as exclusive as a secret club, with limited production and prices that make you wince. Sporting a Rolex isn't just about telling time. It's about announcing to the world that you've made it, or at least your wrist has. However, not everyone's wallet is on board with these sky-high prices. With the recent hikes, some watch aficionados might start casting longing glances at other luxury brands, potentially shaking up the old watch hierarchy. Is this the beginning of a revolution in the luxury watch world? Only time and our shopping habits will tell. Zooming in on what sets Rolex apart, their watches are packed with features that go beyond the ordinary. From their use of 904L stainless steel, which can take on the high seas without a speck of rust, to the parachrome hairspring that keeps ticking precisely even in the face of magnetic fields and bumps. And let's not forget each dial, crafted with the precision of a miniaturist and occasionally sprinkled with diamonds like they're going out of style. These aren't just watches, they're wearable masterpieces. With the new prices in play, will Rolex loyalists stick around, or will the draw of more wallet-friendly luxuries tilt the scales? Stay tuned as we watch this drama unfold. The regular price bumps on Rolex watches are enough to make anyone do a double take. While Rolex is synonymous with high quality materials and impeccable craftsmanship, the swift climb in their prices can sometimes feel more like clever marketing than a reflection of real costs or technological advancements. It's not just about the sticker shock. This trend also shakes up the bustling pre-owned Rolex scene. As new watches get pricier, those vintage and second-hand treasures are suddenly the hot ticket likely driving their prices up too. Before we go further, why not become part of the opulent Oasis tribe? Subscribe and get the latest content first. Let's dive back in. Let's dive into the brass tacks. It's not the everyday stainless steel Rolex models feeling the brunt of the latest price uptick. It's their more glamorous siblings clad in gold and diamonds. Take the date just typically seen as the gateway Rolex thanks to its polished fluted bezel. But guess what? That bezel isn't just shiny, it's crafted from white gold. Add a spicy 3% price hike into the equation, and you've got a price tag that jumps to about $17,343 from the previously cooler $16,838. This increase, which rolls out on June 1, 2024, really shines a spotlight on how swanky materials can send prices soaring. Thinking about splurging on a high-end Rolex? It pays to understand how these luxe materials tick up the ticker's price. Eyeing that date just with its sleek white gold fluted bezel. Well, lean in because this nugget of info is as golden as the bezel itself. And if you're in the market for a gold or two-tone Rolex, you've hit the jackpot. Beyond its good looks, the Datejust packs some serious tech with its 3235 movement, celebrated for its pinpoint accuracy and a hefty 70 hour power reserve. Not to mention, its oyster case isn't just for show, it's built to be water resistant, marrying durability with opulence. So, as you gear up for your next Lux watch buy, 
Keep these cool facts in your back pocket. They turn the date just from just a timepiece to a full-on time lord of style and substance. All right, folks, let's huddle up for a little Rolex reconnaissance. We've got the lowdown on some price adjustments that Rolex plans to roll out on June 1, 2024. We've been chatting with some insiders who are pretty tight-lipped, but they've given us just enough to offer you a sneak peek of what's coming. While we can't cover every single model, we're all set to give you a decent preview. Now let's take a closer look at one of the likely contenders for a price update, the Rolex Submariner. This isn't just any watch, it's a symbol of robustness and precision. Known for its impeccable durability, the Submariner boasts a serochrome bezel that laughs in the face of scratches and holds its color like a champ under the sun. It's also got a chromolite display that makes it readable in the murkiest conditions, perfect for night owls and deep sea divers alike. If you're in the market for a watch that can literally go through thick and thin, these upcoming price tweaks are something to watch out for. As we edge closer to June 2024, remember these details. Knowing what sets these watches apart can help you decide if it's the right time to dive into a purchase. Plus, wearing a Rolex isn't just a style statement, it's a nod to adventures yet to come. It's quite the scene at Rolex these days. Instead of nudging up the prices on their sturdy stainless steel models, they're giving the glitzier gold and diamond-studded watches a nudge. Take the date just, for instance. Even the version that's supposed to be gentle on your wallet comes with a white gold fluted bezel, a little tidbit that really spells out the impact of these hikes. So what's the damage? Currently, the manufacturer's suggested retail price for this date just model sits coolly at $121,590. With a modest 1% uptick, that'll jump to $122,806. It's not sky high, but let's just say it's not chump change either. Looking toward January 2025, it's smart to keep an eye on these trends because the price is expected to inch up to $122,329. Shocking, right? And if we spin over to the 2024 chocolate dial Rose Gold Yacht Master 40, things get even zestier. Listed at $17,274, a 3% hike will pop it up to around $17,793. But hold your hats there's a potential 5% increase on the horizon come January 2025 that could escalate it to an eye-popping $18,683. Despite these vertigo-inducing prices, the craving for Rolex watches doesn't seem to wane. It's remarkable how their allure goes way beyond just the sticker price. Rolex's latest move to ramp up prices on their gold and diamond dazzlers from June 1, 2024, really throws a spotlight on the ever-shifting sands of luxury watch pricing. It's a wake-up call for all of us to stay on our toes and make savvy choices in the high-stakes world of high-end timepieces. This time, they've honed in on the gold and two-tone models, probably giving a nod to the climbing gold prices lately. This tactic isn't just about keeping up the posh facade, it's about balancing the books without rocking the boat too much on their staple stainless steel line. For those setting their sights on something a little more flashy, it means reaching a bit deeper into those pockets. This price uptick might even have some rethinking their game plan or casting a longing eye toward the pre-owned market. Looking down the road, Rolex's price-boosting strategy is a bit of a high-wire act. Sure, it shores up their exclusive rep for the moment, but it might also make some potential buyers pump the brakes, potentially shifting how the brand is viewed down the line. The future of Rolex's pricing is anything but predictable, but one thing's clear. The iconic crown isn't going anywhere, it's just going to cost a bit more to wear it. What are your thoughts on this? If you dug into this slice of Rolex's pricing drama, hit that like, leave us a note, and make sure to follow for more insights. Thanks for hanging out with us at the Opulent Oasis and stay tuned for more luxury watch chatter.